Okay, welcome to Tech Tip 14, and this time around, changing gearbox oil. Now, some people argue this isn't necessary, others argue that it is. Uh, whether you do or you don't change your gearbox oil, well, that's entirely up to you. But me, as it's a relatively simple process, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So let's take a look. Yeah, so like I said earlier, it's essentially a pretty simple process in that your gearbox should have a drain plug and it should have a fill plug. Now, these are pretty self-explanatory. The drain plug is where you drain the oil from the gearbox and the fill plug is where you fill it up. Now, the fill plug will also act as your level. So, in other words, you keep putting oil in the gearbox until it starts to leak back out of the fill hole and then you're good. Now, if you're looking at your gearbox and you're struggling to locate these plugs, it's never a bad idea to check in the workshop manual just to confirm their location uh, and if you do that and then you're still on the wiser chances are you've got a sealed for life gearbox where the manufacturer reckons it's not necessary to change the oil ever so I'll be doing this job on my 2005 Ford Ranger uh, also equivalent to a Mazda B2500 uh, now the truck's got about 85,000 miles on it and I figured now's as good a time as any to change the gearbox oil. Uh, now this gearbox actually has two drain plugs and one fill plug. Now a really good idea before you get carried away and crack all your drain plugs open is to first undo the fill plug because if it's seized in there for whatever reason and you can't undo it at least you didn't dump all the oil on the floor first. Okay now whether you have to jack the car up or you're lucky enough like in my case to be able to just crawl under the vehicle you're going to need to make sure it's level. Uh, now I've done that to the best of my ability so now I can undo the filler plug and for that I'm going to use an adjustable spanner. Right, now that's the filler plug removed. Uh, now if at this point all you wanted to do was check the level of your oil in the gearbox, uh, my go-to method is to use a makeshift dipstick and all I've done is grabbed a cable tie and bent a 90 degree bend in it and I'm gonna insert this into the filler hole facing down and just dip the level of the oil. Okay, so the oil's pretty much up to the filler hole, so the level's fine. Now, I kind of expected that, really, because gear oil doesn't tend to get used up, uh, like engine oil, for example, so unless you've got a leaky seal, it's not something you need to check very often. Now, drain pan's at the ready, because it's time to crack the drain plug, or plugs, in this case. And I'm going to use a 24mm socket for the main drain, and then for the smaller of the two drain plugs, I'm back on my adjustable spanner. So I'm going to first try and crack the drain plug. And then I should be able to undo it the rest of the way with my fingers. Now trying my best not to get covered in gear oil. It's glugging because I haven't undone this filler plug. If I undo this... I put it back in, just so, there we go, got some air in the top of it. Okay, that slowed down to a drip, so I'm going to go ahead and undo the smaller of the two drain plugs, uh, and I'll switch back to the adjustable to do that. Just get every last bit of fluid out. Now one thing about these drain plugs is there should be a sealing washer on them. Now I'm pretty sure mine's stuck to the gearbox casing so I'm just going to try and pry it off. Yeah so there you go, just be aware of that.
Okay, now you've got most of the oil drained out of there, you can grab your new oil. Uh, now if you looked in your workshop manual, you should know what spec of oil to be using and roughly how much. So this truck needs a GL4 7590 gear oil, which I've got right here, and it needs roughly 3 litres of the stuff. Uh, now if at this point you're still not sure how much gear oil you should be using, a smart idea will be to measure how much came out of the gearbox, and that's going to be as good a guide as any. Now one of the trickier parts of this process, depending on your vehicle, can be getting oil back into your gearbox. Now if you're in a pinch, you can use one of these. Uh, now I bought this glorified syringe last year, um, and I've got to be honest with you, sorry Draper, but it's crap. Uh, it's really, really difficult to suck the oil up into the syringe, and then to top it off, oil leaks past the seal inside, and then results in a constant dribble from this little hole here. Now that covers you, and everything else in gear oil which in case you didn't know smells like cat wee uh, it was really annoying avoid that if you can so now my go-to method is to recycle these one litre bottles with a flexible filler neck and all I'm going to do fill it up with gear oil go under there squeeze as much into the gearbox as I can come back up repeat the process until the gearbox is full job done well I almost forgot don't forget to reinstall your drain plugs. Now some of these are magnetic, so give them a quick wipe down before you reinstall them. Now, a fine metallic paste on these is normal, so I won't be worried about that, but if you've got big chunks of metal stuck to it, I may be a little bit concerned. Uh, the other thing about these is, there's a sealing washer. Now should you renew these? Yes, you should. Am I going to renew it? No. I'm not. Call me an idiot, tell me I'm wrong. So the tricky part might be getting the bottle to the hole. Ooh. No, I might have found a way through. Okay, yeah, so we can see it's leaking back out of the hole now, so I reckon that's full. I'm just going to try and squirt a little bit more in just to make sure. Yeah, I'd say that is full. And last but not least, get your fill plug back in there. Brake clean never goes amiss just to tidy everything up. Great, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, a good idea after you've driven the car for a day or two is just to check underneath and make sure nothing's leaking. But as long as it isn't, you're good to go. Uh, now, the other great thing about this process is uh, the whole drain plug, fill plug idea is pretty common amongst most gearboxes, transfer boxes and differentials, so once you've got the technique down, you can use it to change the oil in any of the above. Happy days. So thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button below, I'd really appreciate it. Cheers, see you next time.